Hey guys, it's me, and today I'm back with another nail tutorial for you guys, and I really love this design, and I love the color I used, so this is what the design looks like. Now, the color I used was a really, 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 really dark purple, and it's called Siberian Nights by OPI, and I really, really love this color. Um, a lot of people, like, I've worn these nails out, and a lot of people actually think it's black. It almost looks black, but it's definitely purple. Um... I have a picture of this design with the flash on my camera. In that picture you can really see that this is purple so I, I will definitely insert that picture. So the design I created today was actually using these nail image plates and I really love using these four designs. I have a few by Conad and these ones are actually from the Born Pretty store. They actually sent them to me. Um, I would never lie about being sent a product so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that these were sent to me for reviewing purposes and I really like these and they're very comparable to the Conad ones. I own the Conad ones like I told you, um, I bought them myself and those ones I actually have a video using as well but these ones are from the Born Pretty store and I would like to say that they are very comparable. So when I was contacted by the Born Pretty store they told me that I was able to pick out anything that I wanted on the site and instantly these plates um, stood out to me because I, I love my Conad ones. I love them so much. So I definitely wanted to get some more and these ones were way cheaper so I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to offer you guys a cheaper alternative to Conad nail plates. So the ones that I got were actually these two here. It came in a package with these two and then it came with the stamper and um, the scraper as well. So with these ones they're not full nail um, images they're just for like the tip as you can see like what I did so um, but they're really great because you can use them for short and long nails anyways um, so the scraper is exactly like my Conad one and so is the stamper this is the Conad does have ones that look like this but the one that I have from Conad is um, longer Anyways, I really love these plates. The only downside is the scraper, when you scrape it, a little bit of it, um, there's a few scratches on my plates. It doesn't affect the way the plates work at all. Definitely does not affect it at all. But um, just like the overall appearance of them, they kind of look old, even though I've only had them for a little while. But that's the only negative comment that I can say about these plates because everything else, I love the way they work. Um, they make nail design so easy and makes it so fast to create such a really cute design so I absolutely love these plates. So if you guys are interested in ordering off the Born Pretty store website I will link it down below and they actually gave me a coupon code for you guys so I will um, put it at the bottom of the of the screen. I think it's only for 5% off but all their stuff on the website is already super cheap so 5% um, will help you out because it's already so cheap and you're already getting a great deal on everything so I hope you guys will check out the website if you're interested of course anyways um, enough of me talking I'm just gonna show you guys how I use the plates and um, to create this nail design to create this design you're first going to need a dark plum purple and this is Siberian Nights by OPI you'll need a white polish this is Alpine Snow by OPI You'll need your image plate. This is M48 by the Born Pretty store. And that's the design I'm using. Then you'll also need the scraper and the stamper to go along with the plates. After applying a base coat, apply two coats of Siberian Nights. Don't move on to this next step until your nails are completely dry. Next, set up your working station with a paper towel so that you don't make a mess. Then, using your white polish, cover the design that you want to use. Make sure your nail polish is not sheer. Taking the scraper from the package, wipe off the excess polish and pick it up with the stamper. Then, line it up with your nail where you want to place it and gently roll it on. I'm just taking a Q-tip saturated and some nail polish remover to clean out the excess nail polish in the plate. That way I get a clear design before repeating the same steps. For a 
a neater look, just take a Q-tip and some nail polish remover again and just wipe the edges of your nail where the design might have gotten on your skin. Now to seal the design before you're done, just add a quick top coat to add some shine. And now you're done. Quick and easy, beautiful nails. Okay, so I just wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about maintaining and cleaning the plates after you use them. I just use my regular nail polish remover and um, a Q-tip to just clean up the plate. I like to clean it while I'm using it as well. I like to clean the design. Um, like after every two stamps, I like to clean it out just so that there's no buildup and the design comes out clear. So, um, and also if you're going to use nail polish remover to clean it, um, before putting your plates away, like after you're done using them, make sure they're completely dry so that they don't rust because that would really be unfortunate. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this design and I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you later. Bye!